that's right. We're looking at the the fat tired, the big batty fatty with a big hatchety nimbus hatchet. The disc brake and ready for the gnarly stuff. Literally didn't just come up with that. Now this isn't any clown unicycle. And it's certainly not a fat clown unicycle. It's a doggone Weird Al approved tank. Obviously, it's no ballerina, but it's kind of fun to just throw it around. Either way, it could take the abuse. But where it really thrives is a nice mellow ride on a dirt path or a nice cruise on the beach. But the best part is shredding through the trails. The 24 may be more agile, and the 26 may be more efficient. But it's just fun to wrestle the hatchet down the trails. It gives it a certain quality. It's as far off from a trials unicycle as you can get. But I always find myself looking for new lines to challenge myself. In that way, you could kind of relate it to trials unicycling, per se. Now, guess what time it is? Time for a rainy trail ride of the Nimbus Hatchet. Correct. First, we gotta ride two miles to the park, starting from my house. Let's go. The noise of the friction of that 4.8 inch Maxxis tire made it clear to people that something fat was coming. Or just big. With no struggles at all, we were there. Not too far into the ride, I found the, what the quality was from. The 4.8 inch tire made it a unique and bouncy in the rough stuff. In conclusion, it's not the best to cycle for shredding down the trail, or even cruising for that matter, but for the person wanting to own the unicycle equivalent of a tank and show your dominance all the way down the trail, you can't beat it. Plus, it looks sick. Although not a favored unicycle for trail riding, the special feeling you get while riding it makes it a welcome unicycle to the quiver. Hang loose, my dudes.